and away. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good morning and welcome to your Tuesday morning. Um, I hope that you are well and had nice Mondays and are looking forward to doing a cute drawing today. Well, I think it's, I always think it's cute, but I think this one is particularly cute. Um, what happened yesterday? Not much. It was a cold day here in Germany. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let's get drawing. Enough of the small talk. We're in Germany, we don't do small talk here. So I'm going to spin you around. And I have my piece of paper here today. I have my paints on hand, but I might not use them. We shall see. Um, see how we go. And let me just get rid of that. <clears throat> I have got two pens, but I think I'll just use the usual 0 0.5 so that it's um, good to see. Is it again? I know it's more the other way this time. Well, that's good. Bring it down a bit. Okay, let's get going. So we're going to start by, we're going to be drawing eight things today um, in each space. So one here, one here, one there, one there, 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 there. Okay, so all the corners and all the sides. So we'll start with this one here. And the shape we're going to draw first of all is simply, it's kind of like a kidney bean with a little bump on it. So I'm drawing the kidney bean or the inside of the kidney bean like that. But when I come to do the top, I'm not just going to connect it. I'm going to add a little bump like that. Should, could be a bit smoother than that, but that's how it came out for me. Okay, and then I'm going to just signify the center of that by drawing a little line in the center there, a little sprout coming out. Then about a finger's width, or maybe a little bit less, depending on how big your shape is, just before the main bit of the dip there, we're going to do another little line and mirror it on the other side. So you've got three little sprouts and then you let the dip happen and then at the top bit there you do another one. So you've got five little sprouts coming out at about that distance but it doesn't have to be uh, exact, it can be. They're little guides for us. Okay, now in each of these one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to be clear, um, little sections, we're going to draw an oval shape, but the oval shape is going to point in the direction of the two lines. So this one is going to point like that. This one's gonna point like that. And these two are gonna be a little bit smaller, maybe not. <laughs> attempting to get them a little bit smaller, pointing in those directions. So we've got four little beans and a kidney bean with a hump. Can you tell where it is yet? Okay, now I'm going to draw um, a semicircle covering this one, giving, leaving a little bit of space and not touching the line there. I'll do the same semicircle covering this one. And then from that semicircle, we're going to draw a semicircle coming down into the center. And from that semicircle, we're going to draw a semicircle coming down like that. And then we're going to continue these, both of these lines to kind of mirror, whoo, sorry, to kind of mirror the, let me put, let's forget to put it on mute mirror this hump, so it's gonna kind of come in a little bit, but then back out and then in. So in a little bit and out and in. And there we have our basic little kitty cat paw. Cute, right? So of course it's really basic right now. We can add a lot of detail to this. So I'm gonna just start by adding a little semicircle at the top of each of the um, bigger semicircles that we drew, like that. That signifies where the claws would come out. And then you could, of course, add a little claw 
to each of them, or you could add a big claw. Then down here, I'm also gonna draw a little button, so a semicircle like that, and then a little line like that. And then we can draw this, um, well, you could either turn it into just a paw shape like that, or you could draw it into a kind of arm or leg coming down with a bit of fur on it, coming off the page. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we're gonna flip our page around. We can come back to this, so don't worry if you're not satisfied. We're gonna flip our page around and then we're gonna draw a similar thing. So here, it's not gonna reach in the middle. We need a little bit of space for the other ones to come in. But down here, we're gonna draw a similar shape to this, but we're gonna make it more defined. So it's gonna have one loop and then it comes up a little bit and in, and then out, another loop, in, up, in, and up. So it's kind of like a three, got a little bit fuzzy, kind of like a three um, humped triangle. Okay, now we're gonna draw slightly, we're gonna draw four pads, four pads, but the top two are gonna be obviously in the middle. So I'm gonna just leave a little gap and draw a little line. And then here and here, I'm gonna draw long, they kind of go straight in the center and then out and around shapes like that. Anyway, it's not focusing. Let's come up a bit closer. So straight down there, comes down and around, and up and around like that. And then two more kind of almost teardrop shapes. One there. one there and then you can do your semicircles going over the shapes again and then from that semicircle we're going to come up and bring it around to meet that center line up and around to meet that center line and we're going to bring it down in and then back out and back in. Down, in, back out and back in. You can even draw a little button there as well. And again, the little suggestions of the claws if you want the claws to come out. I'm just doing really gentle claws today and then continue that off the page like so boom boom so basically this is supposed to be a cat and that's supposed to be a dog according to google unfortunately i don't have a cat or a dog here to grab their little paw and have a look so i'm just trusting google google images um but if you have a little rascal to grab and check out the paw then be my guest they're so cute we can add more detail to these later because they're like all fleshy and furry and, and lush but we're gonna crack on with the rest of them okay so i'm gonna spin my page around get out of my way of everything else and we're gonna come and do our four, uh, third one here not our fourth one <laughs> our third one here okay so this one's quite fun we're gonna start on doing the left bit and it's going to come, um, we're gonna draw like a soft V. So soft, little gap at the bottom, soft V like that. And then on the left-hand side, we're gonna curve around and match it up there. And we're gonna mirror that, curve around and match it up there. OK, 
Okay, then we're going to do the same shapes, but smaller here and facing out a little bit um, more. So we can do the straight line there. And then the curve like that. And straight line there. Don't worry if it's not exact. This is quite tricky to get the symmetry going like that. Then we're going to do a kind of suggestion of the foot, a little bit furry, just again mirroring, I'm not doing the semicircle this time because it's a bit sharper, a bit more sharp, sharper. And bring that down and off the page. This is the footprint or the paw print of a wild boar, apparently, <laughs> or a pig, I guess. Yeah, it's quite mighty. I mean, that's a dog and that's a wild boar, about the same size, and then this massive cat. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving that there for now. I'm gonna spin it around and we're gonna come and do a cute one. Oh my God. Okay, so this next one, we're gonna basically draw like a long elongated kidney bean. So that's quite long like that. And then at the top left of the kidney bean, we're gonna do a little knobble coming there. And then we're gonna do four knobbles, one, two, three, four, spanning the distance here. So if it helps, you could put a little mark in the center and then draw about the same size as this knobble, if not smaller. One, two, three, and four. And then we're just gonna simply do the semicircle over all of these. Match up that little line. And then in, out, in, down, in, out, in, and down. And then I'm gonna do quite big claws here so these are slightly bigger can anyone guess what this little thing little animal is it's quite a small animal but you won't want to mess with it in the british countryside we'll leave it there and see if you can think of what it is i won't tell you yet i'll tell you at the end Okay, and then we're gonna, you could leave it here if you, if you feel like you're done with the pause, but I had a really lovely morning of drawing lots of different pores. So I've got four more to do. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna come down here, have a curved or a tilted page. I'm gonna do a smaller one here and I'm basically just going to draw a Y shape in bubble writing leaving a little gap at the base there, a little Y, and then I'm just gonna do a third, slightly longer prong coming out there. And then from the center bit here, I'm imagining the little leg is coming out here, and then maybe I'll do a little fleshy bit there, a little furry bit there. Little pigeon foot. That's quite cute, isn't it? I think that's quite cute. That's our little pigeon. Okay, let's spin it around. And then here, we're gonna do a wide V shape. So, um, actually no, are we, are we, are we? Yeah, why not? A wide V shape, wide V shape. So like that, basically at the same angle of the page there. And again, we're gonna do a bubble writing, slightly thicker than before, leaving a little gap in the center. And then in the center, doing another prong. And then a little suggestion of a webbed foot there. And again, just have it coming off here and then maybe a flashy bit coming off the page there. 
That's a duck's foot <laughs> footprint. Okay, now we're gonna come down here and we're going to do this one. I'm not sure, I, I'm, I'm not convinced. Let me have another little look at the illustration. Oh no, I've lost it, oh no. I've spent so long um, <laughs> cruising Google Images. So I basically typed in, if you're interested, um, poor illustration, and then I looked at all of the images. So this one, okay, we're gonna do two, v no, we're just gonna do one. So we're just gonna do one slightly narrow V shape with a, a blob like that. I wonder if it's still working, yeah. Okay. And then it's just gonna have basically like a comic foot. So put, putting four long toes in like that. And then I guess it's just fur and fluff and foof around it coming off the page. That's supposed to be a rabbit's, a rabbit's foot. I'm not convinced. I mean, I've never looked at a rabbit's paw before. Now I, now I want to, but hey ho. But then we're going to do the last one, which is the cutest one in my opinion. I, I saved it till last. And it's basically like a, a, a little hand. Thank you. With um, five spindly fingers. So I'm going to start with the thumb or what seems to be the thumb. It's like a long little mark like that. Should I bring it a bit closer so it's a bit easier? Long little mark like that going up this side. And then we do four, one, two, three, four spindly fingers. Then it comes down and kind of comes around and curves up there. And that is the paw print of a hedgehog. I mean, how adorable is that? So I'm just gonna do spiky suggestion of a hedgehog's leg. Like a tiny little cute hand. I mean, I don't know how accurate these are. I just trusted other people's um, interpretations that they've uploaded onto Google Images. Is that how it works? I don't know. But either way, I thought it was pretty cute and I found it an enjoyable activity. So I thought you guys would too. It's my little hedgehog. Okay, so now we have our eight paws and now you can knock yourself out. I know that took actually quite a long time to know. <laughs> Now you can knock yourself out by drawing the detail. So you could go in and add like little bits of cross hatching or just hatching to kind of suggest a bit of depth, just little lines. You know, like we do. Or you can keep it nice and simple just add kind of a pattern to your animals. Maybe this is a little tabby cat. And it's got a little bit of fur. Well, probably got a lot of fur if it's a cat, unless it's one of those, what are they called? The furless cats. I know what they're called, but I can't think in the moment. Waste away. Furry, furry. You could, I don't know, do the kind of age lines, I don't know what I'm talking about. They're kind of like leathery though, aren't they? These these bits of paw, I do remember that from having dogs back in the day. They have kind of like a texture to them, a leathery texture. Super cute. I was reading about adopting dogs because I'm desperate for saying how when you get the dogs, um, you should, you know, like try and get them comfortable with you and you should touch their paws and stuff to like make them used to you being tactile with them. Try and touch their paws and oh my God, just too much. 
because I guess it's like giving a dog a little handshake, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just filling this. Um... Oh, yeah, this is a badger, by the way. <laughs> I told you. A badger. It's pretty cute, though, but kind of vicious. I used to see a lot of badgers back when I lived in the UK, in the country. I haven't seen a badger for a very long time now, though. Just building that up a bit. I'm not sure what would badgers legs, they're black, aren't they? And they've just got white stripes on their face. Um, this is my little pigeon, so maybe I'll just do kind of, that's kind of fluffy, white fluffy stuff there. I think that's probably good enough. My wild boar, it's quite scary. When walking in New Zealand, um, we were walking back down a track. We'd just been up to see a lookout point. And then we could just hear like a rummaging in the um, hedges that were surrounding the track. And um, like really in the middle of nowhere, we were convinced it was a wild boar that was watching us and I got really freaked out. <laughs> I mean, it was never confirmed or denied what it was in the bushes. I'm like, wild boar is pretty scary though. And I'm such a wuss that I was like, oh my God took off but you're not supposed to run are you if you get attacked by well lots of animals what's this one a little rabbit um because then obviously they're most of the time going to be faster than you and with momentum they can take you down but I might just color this one in because I'm not sure about this one terrifying or have you seen like videos of um bulls and stuff charging walkers god that's just like the worst nightmare so that's my little i don't know it doesn't really look like a rabbit to me it looks more like a raccoon or something this is my little hedgehog man i might give it a little palm and make it a little bit more human so cute adorable i'll show you up close for that Little palm saying hi. And then my dog. Maybe my dog will have like a little sleeve of different colour. Dark. I don't know. I was going to paint this, but I think it's going to take too long on stream. So I'll probably maybe have a little go of painting it off stream. Have some coffee as well. Nice. What's that one? Oh yeah, badger. So you could write what these are. Badger, pigeon, cat, hedgehog, wild boar, rabbit, dog, duck. The duck one would be a bit bigger, wouldn't it? It's a baby duck. Um, if you want to remember, or you could add to this page Go on Google, knock yourself out um, with poor illustrations. Or I guess you could write different things that give you slightly different results, like animal paw drawing or how to draw a paw, <laughs> all these different things. Um, it's honestly, Google is the best for getting inspiration. I've been, I have been in my own personal work, struggling a little bit to get inspiration. Um, so I've um, vowed to do a little bit more research, play a little bit more, try not to be so um, perf like, not, I'm not perfectionist at all, but like, when I make something, I I just draw straight away with pen. I don't I don't really plan it, but then most of the time I'm just like, oh, that's rubbish, and then I get annoyed. So I'm going to try and not produce good things, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm going to try and just produce, just produce, not aim for a, 
good outcome immediately and try and get through this little stage of not really, you know, making things that I like. Anyway, enough of me blabbering along about my poor little art self. I'll show you a little close up of our pigeon, our rabbit, our dog, our wild boar, our badger, our cat, massive cat, little hedgehog, that's my favourite, and little pigeon. And I hope that you enjoyed today's illustration, today's drawing sesh. Um, let me know if you did enjoy that topic, or whether it was a little bit childish for you. I don't know. I don't think it's childish. I think it's pretty cool. And you could always redraw it. I'll actually show you my little plan because it's a little bit different to that. My plan was just this to draw them kind of like randomly coming out like they're having a party. But then I thought, oh no, let's make them all come together in a little um, community, a little like poor bump. Anyway, have amazing Tuesdays. I will be here tomorrow for Wednesday's edition. Take care of yourselves and send your pictures my way as always on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining. Bye.